Hello and a big welcome and Happy New Year. My name is Rebecca and I am here today to do my very first video, my very first time on starting the Jane Plan Diet. I have ordered the food and it arrived yesterday, the 31st of December and I will be starting the diet as from today. Um, so this video basically is just me going through the box and to talk about the foods and to kind of see my reaction and my thoughts on the food and yeah, let's get straight onto it. Okay, so I have the box here with me and I have already opened it, but I haven't gone through the meals or any of the items in the box. So this is initially my first time. Okay, so I'm opening up the box and this is the very first thing that I can see inside the box. And it is a Jane Plan guide. And let's have a look and get a rough idea as to what this book is about. Okay, so this looks like a little journal. It starts with the start date of your diet, your height, your current weight, and what your goal weight is. And it kind of goes through like the recipes, there's some recipes in this book, and it kind of gives you a rough idea as to understanding weight loss um, the steps to success and kind of give you that kind of first steps on how to follow the plan, your expectations. Wow, it looks really good. It's quite a lot of pages, quite a lot of information. Um, so that looks really good. So it kind of has like a a little section on a food diary and where you can log your your goals and your your weight so yeah that looks really great looking forward to logging more into that um, there's also a little paper that is kind of welcoming you to the program um, you can download your digital copy of the three diet guide uh, so I requested for a paper copy which is this one um, so they're kind of welcoming you they're kind of like giving you some suggestions that you can learn some diet tips through their website through their Facebook page um, which is really great um, it kind of tells you as well on how to store heat and eat your items that arrive in the box Ooh, that looks really great and there's also a little kind of receipt in here on all the items that you that you brought okay so let's get stuck in okay so I'm opening up and I'm kind of seeing the very first item, which looks like a breakfast. It is a koji berries and cranberries. And wow, it, it also tells you the calories on how much is in this food. And it's got some like little seeds. Um, some little looks like nuts um, so that potentially would be the size of the cereal now when I first uh, started to do my research into the Jane plan I actually learned that quite a lot of people uh, complains about the sizes of the food and I've actually seen a few videos where people have actually said that 
you know, the sizes are quite small. Um, but for me, looking at this, this looks like a very decent size cereal pack that, that I think looks quite good for breakfast. Um, I, I, I feel like this is something that looks really tasty. Um, so yeah, looking at that, that looks really, really nice. Okay. Um, so looking at the other cereal, uh, this is Jane's Classic Granola. And again, uh, that's got like nuts and seeds. And again, it tells you the amount of calories that this breakfast item contains. Um, at this stage, I don't know what kind of like things to to add. Uh, I know you can add milk. I've seen some people use like low fat Greek yogurt. Uh, people add in like fruits. So I am really looking forward to opening these up and adding in the varieties of different uh, fruits trying to milk but I think the most important thing you have to figure out as well is that you have to count your calories there's like a certain amount of calories that you can have per day and you just have to make sure that you count your calories and that they match in the amount of calories that you are allowed on a daily basis so that looks really nice that looks like the right amount of portion that i would usually have eaten for breakfast anyway so that looks really nice okay so i've got this little this little bar just show you and this is a raspberry and honey porridge oat bar and again this this tells you the calories um tells you the what's inside it as well um that looks really nice there's some bits that are kind of broken up which is okay um and it looks like it has some nuts it looks like it's got some yeah, some other bits. Oh, it's got pumpkin seeds. It's got um, satanes, satanas. Don't know what they are. Never tried them. Okay, so the next one I've got is a pecan and maple granola. And again, that is okay. So both granolas in two different sizes of packaging uh, this one looks like it's got more than that one maybe um, but this one's actually contains more calories okay um, yeah this looks really nice this looks really tasty um, Oh, lovely! It looks really nice. It looks, it looks really tasty. So I'm looking forward to, to trying that. Um, I have luxury gluten free muesli, and what is so good about this this diet is that this kind of food isn't what I would have usually eaten. Um, I used to eat three meals a day and then I kind of would eat like one or two meals a day but come the evening my diet was so really bad because come the evening I would literally just pig out and eat so much so what I'm really looking forward to this diet is having three proper meals the snack would be obviously a snack but it's three meals that you would need to eat per day and what I'm looking 
forward to about this diet is that this diet is all your calories are counted the portions are done for you and all you need to do is just add in your vegetables your fruits you know your little basic accessories this diet everything's done for you and you don't need to you know make fancy meals you can just either put them in the microwave you can just put them in the oven you know something very basic and yeah you should be able to lose weight uh, in the right way so yeah i'm really looking forward to eating food that i wouldn't really usually eat i usually eat all the wrong things vegetables fruits are all something that i just would not eat so the fact that when i look at this and when it tells me what there is it's apricots there's uh, raisins those are not what i would usually eat so i'm really going to challenge myself to eat these so i'm looking forward to that challenge and i'm really really looking forward to trying something different getting back into a routine and just eating healthy and just feeling good and just you know just be a new me so i'm really really looking forward to that and yeah when i look at these i just i feel really good and i feel really positive so yeah i like i like the look of that one that one looks really awesome okay so looking at another one i've got a vanilla porridge dreamy oats i if i had to say out of healthy foods i would probably say that porridge is my favorite it's my favorite breakfast i love porridge so with this one this one's probably the best one that i've seen because i know that i'm really gonna enjoy this one because i know what i'm gonna get from this where it's muesli and where it's granola those are ones that i've not really tried and if i would have tried i probably would say never again but because i am determined to change my lifestyle and to change into eating healthier i am gonna go for it and i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna give it a try and i'm gonna challenge myself so looking forward to eating this really love porridge really love oats very very nice definitely glad that i ordered those okay so um, I've got another one here which is Macca's Secret Muesli. Again, it looks the same as it did with the other mueslis that we kind of looked at. Um, the packaging is, is really nice. I do like the packaging. It's really, really nice. It's quite attractive because I like the colours and you can see what you're going to eat. So I'm looking forward to that one. So we've got the pure porridge oats. Really looking forward to that as well. Again, porridge, um, you know what to expect with porridge. Uh, I like the fact with this photo, if you see, you can see like little blueberries with it. So that kind of tells you what kind of like different fruits to try. So yeah, that's going to be nice. Um, okay, I've got another one here which is organic brown berry muesli. Again, you know what you're going to be getting. Um, they look really, really nice. Very excited. Very, very excited. Okay. Um, so, um, looking at the top, it looks like they have mixed the breakfasts with the snacks um i think that's the end of the breakfasts i think they're just duplicates of what i've already kind of gone through um so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna next go on to the 
snacks. Okay. So here is some popcorn. Uh, I'm not sure what flavour popcorn. Um, oh, it's salted. It's salted um, popcorn. Love popcorn. Really nice. Really like it. So technically, you can still have some fatty foods, and at least it's not a big bag. It looks really nice. It looks quite a decent portion. Um, and it looks like just like the perfect amount to have for a snack. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to, to eating that. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. Okay, so this is curly corn combo mix. And these look like little hula hoops. They look like, they literally like look like hula hoops. Okay, so I have absolutely no idea what they are. I don't know what they taste like. Um, they look, they look quite nice. Um, they look, oh, so they're like little chips. So they're like barbecue. Ooh, so they have some flavor to it. Lovely, I look forward to trying those. Um, let's see what other goodies we have. Okay, so we have mixed nuts and seeds, and that's the amount that you would get. And, oh, lovely. So you've got little different combinations in there of seeds and nuts. Perfect. That looks really nice. Ooh, seeds. See, these are kind of foods that I would not ever eat. And why I say that, because I'm probably the world's fussiest person when it comes to food. So, me trying this, me stepping outside of what would usually be my comfort zone, this is going to be a big challenge. It really is. And when I look at this, let's say six months ago I, I looked at this, I would have just, I would have picked it up, I just would have just right past it in the supermarket. So the fact that I'm having a proper look at it now and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. I, I literally cannot express that enough. I can't wait to just, just start this diet. To be honest with you, so far, it doesn't even look like a diet. It looks like a completely new journey, a new uh, step a new challenge and yeah I, I I'm really looking forward to it I'm really really looking forward to that that looks really nice perfect okay let's see what else we have um some of them as I said they're quite there's quite a lot of duplicates in here so I'm kind of just seeing what else that we have um, ooh, there is a bag here. There is a bag. Ooh, very exciting. What could this be? So we've got this little bag. It's kind of been wrapped. So let's see what we have. Okay, I'm going to put this back. Oh, so it's, it's more snacks. Oh, wow. Oh, I love, I love, I love, I love. Okay, so there's some packaging and some biscuits. And this one is a vanilla butter crunch sweet biscuit. And that one is one. And that's for a snack. That looks really nice. That, I would say, is quite small, and you only get one in a pack. So that one would be a one-day snack. Not complaining. Really not complaining. Because if, realistically, if someone said to me that, you know, if you were going to go on a diet, I wouldn't, not in a million years, would I have imagined that you would be eating biscuits. I would have thought that maybe it would have been a carrot stick or 
you know, something on the healthier route. So the fact that you're allowed to have these in your diet is, is really good. Really, really good. Okay, so we've got another one here, which is a lemon butter shook bread. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I'm really happy. I am super happy. I love shook bread. I really, really love shortbread, so I know I'm going to enjoy that. That's going to be awesome. Okay, so, ah, we have roasted and salted almonds. Oh, look at that. That, oh, I, I remember eating um, almond nuts a long time ago, and they were really tasty. So, that... I'm looking forward to trying. Oh, this is all so exciting. This is like Christmas and this is like opening up your presents and feeling excited about what your parents have bought you. This is just, this is really awesome. Okay, so we have, um, this one just says pepper. So these are pepper biscuits, I guess. Um, never tried these they look nice you get three in a pack so yeah I'm looking forward to trying that nice Ooh, what are these ooh, ooh, ooh. this doesn't have a name but I think I remember what these were because they do look like chocolate Chocolate's combined on it. Back of it. That looks really nice. That's already got me like excited even more. Um, there's quite a lot of duplicates. I'm just seeing if there's any different, other different ones. Uh, these are original. Uh, they like the pepper ones, but they're original flavour. And again, you get three in a pack. Excited. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, quite a lot of duplicates. Lovely. This one is a spicy ginger. A crunchy cookie. Ooh, lovely. That one is, you get one in a pack. That looks nice. I'm really liking this. I'm really, really liking this. This, this is just, this is not like a diet at all. This literally is like, just, just, just a miracle. Just really nice, really tasty. I'm really looking forward to this. Very excited. Okay, so I've now moved on into the second department of the box, and this looks like the lunches. So we're now on the lunches. And this one is a smoky bean chili. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh wow. Ah, so you really, you get to see vaguely what you're getting inside the pot. I don't know if you can really see that. Okay, so this, again, this looks really nice. So this looks like it's got, um, I can see the beans in it. I'm not sure if those are rice or pasta. Uh, yes, yes it is. It is brown bizarre. Basmati rice. Oh, that is nice. So you get the rice and you get the beans and the sauce combined into one packaging. How awesome is that? Can you imagine if you were to make this from home and you were making it yourself? You literally would have to make the rice separately, you would have to make the sauce separately, you would make the beans separately. But not with Jane Plan, not with Jane Plan. You get both together. And all you would need to do is just put it in the microwave. 
what, within like a couple of minutes, a few minutes, and then, yeah, you've, you've, you've basically got it done. This is really good. This is, this looks really nice. Again, it's challenging myself. It's food I would not normally eat, but I can't wait. I, I literally cannot wait. This, this is, this is awesome. This is really nice. Carrot and coriander soup. Look at the packaging on that. This doesn't come from a tin. This has come in a plastic like packaging. Wow, look at that. That looks really nice. And what's so good about it is you can actually see the soup for yourself, what you're going to eat. Wow, this is really nice. I'm very, very impressed. I, I, I'm... I'm I'm baffled. I'm really really baffled. This is really nice. I can't wait. I I cannot express that enough. I can't wait. This is really nice. And here we have again tomato and basil soup. Again, the packaging looks really nice. And and now that it's it's winter, this is like really making me feel excited because when it's really cold I can just you know go and microwave this and sit you know and eat this in you know just to warm myself up I'm really looking forward to eating this one really excited very nice I really think they've done a really awesome job with this very nice okay so the next one that we have is a chicken Arabita, if I'm saying that correctly. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So this has got pasta. This has got uh, some like tomato sauce. It looks like it's got some um is that like beans or like olives or something look at that that looks really nice again you get the pasta with it you get the sauce with it you get the the vegetables so i can i can just like visualize eating this and putting this in a bowl and having some like vegetables or some other like lettuce and stuff like that ah these this looks really nice it's very very nice okay so the next one so this is a box and this is a, a whole grain salad um unfortunately you can't see what you get with this i'm not going to open it up now because i don't want to take it out from the packaging and and it falls out inside the box um but they kind of give you that kind of idea as to what you're getting like lettuce you've got, you got little red beans you've got sweet corn this is going to be nice the next one is a penny regate tomato and olives i love the packaging how awesome is that that's a nice design i like that okay so let's open this up let's see what this is all about Ooh, again, this is um, pasta with sauce. Lovely, 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 lovely. That looks really nice, really tasty. Again, um, I have that with salad maybe. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, so the next one that we have is we have curried sweet potato and butternut soup and when I look in this there looks like little like strings like little stringy uh, foods in that Ooh, so look they kind of what's so good about this is that the packaging the the pictures kind of tell you what's inside if you can't really see inside the packaging so that's kind of told me that that's tomatoes and that's, um, that's, yeah, 
potato. Looks really nice. I'm really looking forward to the soups. I'm really, really looking forward to them. Look really nice. The next one that we have is a tuna pasta salad in a tomato and herb dressing. That looks lovely. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm already excited. The tuna, the pasta. I love fish. I absolutely love fish. Um, I wouldn't call myself a... Well, I'm definitely not vegan because I do love my fish. Um, I originally wouldn't call myself a vegetarian because although I don't eat meat, I uh, I don't eat vegetables. That was kind of the old kind of attitude, the kind of person that I was. Um, but I wouldn't say that I didn't eat meat because I just hated to. I mean, I could eat meat, but it's just that I just didn't eat meat. <laughs> There's no explanation on that. Um, Oh, there's another fishy. So we've got a Moroccan style salmon salad with a quick quinona. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That looks nice. Oh, wow. Tomatoes. Oh, that looks lovely. That, oh my gosh. I. I'm so excited. This is just this is just so awesome. Okay, so I see more soups. So we've got the veggie and bean soup. And yeah, you can see the vegetables and um that looks really nice. I'm looking forward to trying that. Uh, let's see, we've got quite a few here. We've got different kind of types. Uh, we have a, a chana dahal. I like the look of that, that packaging. That's really bright. That looks very nice. <gasps> lovely, 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 lovely. I have absolutely no idea what is inside that but I've got to say it does look nice see I'm really challenging myself because these are foods that some of them I've not I'm not familiar with some of them I just wouldn't eat so the fact that I'm now going to try this it's going to be really uh, uh, quite experience Okay, so the next one is a naked beef burrito. And let's have a look at this. Okay, so. Okay, so this one looks like. Okay, so it's got rice in it. And. <laughs> That's all I can kind of tell at this stage what else is in there. You can clearly see that there's rice. Um, okay, so it's got some spices on the front, the packaging, so that's going to be perhaps a, a spicy dish. Okay, so I'm going to try that. Ooh, a couscous salad. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Okay, um, so... Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Oh, so we have a leek and potato soup. That looks really nice. Nice. Okay. Um, so we've got quite, as I said, we've got quite some um, duplicates. We have a chicken jam balaya which has chicken breast pieces in a tomato pancetta and red and yellow pepper sauce with long grain and brown balsami rice oh i have to look at that oh wow 
Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so, oh, this is a new one. This one is a broccoli and cheese soup. I've never tried that before. That's one soup I've never tried. Okay, that would be quite interesting. Nice, okay. Um, and we have a free bean salad. Again, can't see what's inside. Um, that would be quite interesting to try. Um, let's see what else. We have a salmon salad with dill. And <laughs> you've got your little pink salmon picture at the front. It's awesome. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, this one is the one that we've not, not come across so far. This is a kale and coconut soup. This one looks really nice. Oh, lovely. Looks really really nice wow nice so the next one that we have is a tuna salad with a spicy tomato salsa so already i've found about four dishes for lunch that include fish very happy about that very very happy I think that's the end of the lunches for now. Okay, so we've now reached the final parts of the Jane Plan diet delivery. And this is now the dinners. Ooh, so this is a chickpea tangine. They look very similar to, well they are actually in fact the same packaging as the soup. Oh, so that's, that's so nice. That's so different. I think, well I'm actually going to talk about my other experience with another uh, diet that I tried uh, around a year ago. And, but that will be for a separate video. But I have to say that I do find that the packaging, the dinner, is a completely different layout, completely different usual what you would find in a dinner kind of packaging. I'm so used to boxes and things like that of dinners and I'm, I'm just not familiar with these. These are really nice though. Chickpea. Lovely. I do like, I do like the packaging on that lovely here we go a pork meatballs in tomato and herb sauce wow you can't really see the the meatballs um but all you can just see are the brown like the brown sauce inside the package <laughs> picture of a pig at the front pork yeah okay so let's um let's move on to the next one Ooh, we're now reaching the boxes so this one is college pie look at the package and all that that looks really nice oh my god that's what the cottage pie looks like that that's that looks like a normal standard, you know, um, cereal, like meal that you would get from like Tesco's, Asda, you know, the microwavable that you would get. Um, so I don't know. I, I when I when I investigated the Jane Plan, that was one of, one of the things that a lot of people were just, you know the reviews the videos the comments that people were talking about with portions and you know they're too small and you know but i have to 
say that my my observations on the packaging is it wasn't what I thought it would be I mean I thought I'm being honest when I had ordered it and when I kind of researched it I was kind of thinking hmm you know by the sounds of what people were saying the portions are, are too small and that people become hungry but that was actually a little bit of a I would 